welcome back to Skyrim. All right. Well, first thing I want to say is that uh, it's air conditioner season. The thing is running. It's probably going to continue running until sometime in late September. So I will do the best I can with Audacity to renew, remove the sound of it. But it's going to be there. Meanwhile, the kind of guests that are people that show up. Oh, get off it. I haven't been hostile to you, and you haven't been hostile to me, so let's just leave it go. You stand there and enjoy the snow, and that'll be fine. I'll take your toe and valuables some other time. As you can see, yes, I'm back here at Lakeview Manor, and that's because the shopkeepers in Solstheim didn't have hardly any gold at all so i ended up taking about an in-game week or more to be able to sell enough stuff to them so that i could fast travel and then i come back here and dumped off stuff and resupplied and so on and now i figured that it might be a good idea to use the fast travel thing to get um, Shadow Mirror along. So let's go to Solstein. He would be handy for times when I'm carrying too much to fast travel or run or anything. Uh, he makes it possible to get places without taking forever. So we stop at, oh, you know what I didn't pick up? Any meat. I guess I'll have to find some game along the way. The Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. Oh, good for you. I'm proud of you. Okay, let's see. Quests. Bilgmuk needs meat. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh. I don't even know if one of these shop... Well, one of these folks ought to have meat. Assuming I come around when they're open. What time of day is it? 9 p.m. Oh, goody. Okay. Let's just loiter about for 12 hours. And, yeah. That'll uh, get some people about, do a little bit of business in the shop, and oh, yeah, let's tend to this little vampire need. I resupplied with some more of those, too. All right. All right, where are your shopkeepers, people? Come on. I mean, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Where are you people? Are you a shopkeeper? I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Oh, well. Aren't you a rude SOB? Maybe the shops are over this way? No, they're back there. The wiki says they're around the well, and that's a well. <clears throat> Although, it doesn't look very useful. I don't see any way to draw water out of it. All right, another hour. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Only once? This is the second time you've yapped at me about that. You. Looking for any potions, ingredients, alchemical supplies? No. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. If you're I'm looking for meat. How about you? I think Want you're to good. buy anything, or just laugh at our misfortunes? I'll laugh at you later. Take a look. All right. Food stuff. You have bread. This is not good enough. 
You know, I may just decide to do if a little bit of supplies, hunting. You know where to find me. And I noticed that my attempt to bring Shadowmere failed because I arrived on the boat and Shadowmere is not there. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's see, I believe... Oh, for crying out loud. All right, let me look at the map. Not supremely helpful. Um, looks like there's something over here. There's nothing but wall here, it looks like. I don't suppose there's any way up beyond the wall. And this is, oh, okay. This might be a little helpful. It would also be helpful. Let's see. I needed to visit all of these stones. There's one up here, the water stone. So let, I'm going to head this way first up north. And yeah, I'm kind of going around the bend. Whatever. But I'm going to visit these uh, various and sundry stones. Get them cleaned out with that bend wheel shout. And... Along the way, I will presume that I should be able to come up with a little bit of game. And uh, acquire some meat for Buck, And then when I have that, we'll go see the little hairless Ewoks and uh, take care of their little issue. All right. I am going to be traveling. I'll catch up with you when I get to the next stone. Oh, boy. Oh, you think you're bad? Whoa. That's the last of them. Hello. Apparently they are a little bit bad at least. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. All right, map, marker, heading north, okay, trying this again, okay. <laughs> My favorite cultists are here. The right so much for him. Holy decapitation. <laughs> Not bad. All right. It wasn't the weir bears that I was kind of expecting. But, oh well. The cultist gear is, sells more anyway. Although the weir bears might have yielded some meat. You know, weir bear chops or something like that, you know? Anyway. Onwards, northwards. What's this? Emerald geode. Oh, I'll have to come back here with the pickaxe. Oh. Uh, well, I'll take the gold and the soul gem. Oh, what the heck. That's too valuable to pass up. Anyway, proceeding onwards to the north in the best fashion that I can. Blood Skull Barrow. Time to die. Apparently they're not nice people. <laughs> Reavers. Steel arrows, cheap fur armor. I don't even want it. However, 
Vampire breakfast time. And I guess the other one's up here in the tower. I can't hide from you? Surprise! I can. Yeah. I guess I can hide from them, huh? All right, we'll just... Uh, Store this up for later. And this one. And then I'll just uh, be on my way. All the trouble I go to. I hope these people appreciate it. All right. Onwards to that stone to the north. Well. Looks like I'm here, so let's get this one cleared off, and of course there's going to be that lurker thing that shows up when I do this, so, yeah, oh, hey, nightshade. All right. Good. Uh, no lurker meat. What's going on? Somebody help. The rightful dragonborn comes soon. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, dragon. I got something for you too. It would be helpful if I could get off of this rock. Where'd he go? Oh. him and now I'm stuck in a place where I think the only way out is down okay all right You're done. I'll take that. And your soul, too. Oh, hey, look. Game. Where'd it go? Oh, you'll do. There. Now we have meat for Bilgmuk when I get around to that. How about that? All right. Next up in the hit parade of stones to be cleared. That one's taken care of. And then there's this one. And Tel Mithrin, which is where that wizard Neloth lives. All right. Give Bildmuck some meat. All right. Let's see. Skull Village. Uh... Skull Village actually looks like it's going to be closest. Fast travel there. And then head off to take care of the Bilgmuck issue, and then go 
down south to talk to uh, this Nullah person. Fjord, you must be calm. I'm sure there's a good reason Baldor left us. Something isn't right, Fanon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel it in my bones and I smell it in the air. Baldor wouldn't leave without telling someone. Okay, uh, I need to go this way. Off to the southwest. Don't worry yourself over nothing, Dior. Do you want a head full of gray hairs before you've seen 40 winters? It makes my heart heavy that you don't believe me, Fanon. Heading over Baldor. here this way. Yeah. All right. This should not be too much of a long trip. West and south. Towards the white quest marker. All right. All right. Um, this is. this again. Okay. Alright. Now, you want to be reasonable? Alright, let's try this again. And apparently... I get the feeling the boar meat is not what he's wanting. Uh, oh, lovely. Of course, I suppose giving him boar meat would count as cannibalism. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I will be back to this guy. Meanwhile, get off of that. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, heading here, turn this on, turn that one off, pass up knowledge, actually, cleansing the stones, turn that one on, earthstone, beestone, okay, sunstone, and earthstone, that's the sunstone, where's the earthstone? I already did the earth stone. Didn't I? At that back at Raven Rock. Alright, heading south. And we'll get back to Build Muck later. Okay, I've run into an interesting new uh thing. These uh large cricket looking things called ash hoppers. that yield ash hopper meat and ash hopper jelly. I wonder if Bill Muck will eat them, that kind of meat. Anyway, coming up on that next stone, so get that thing cleared out, and then we'll head over to that giant mushroom, I think, and talk to the elven dude. Okay, let me make sure I've got the right shout. Active. Bend will and Good. Oh, come on. So much for him. And they're all taking off, but we've got somebody hostile over here. An ash spawn. All right. And it dropped ebony ore. This is cool. All right. Looks like they're all going back to their lives. Back to prison. No, uh, Rather die in the ash. 
All right, now we're heading over here. So he lives in a mushroom. Okay, either that or he's got a really big, very odd garden. <laughs> okay. No, he lives in a mushroom. Okay. Tell Mithrin. Why are you out here? Aren't you supposed to be in the tower assisting Master Nella? Why won't this summoning work? If you must know, I am trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. Now let me concentrate. Oh, jeez. Besides, shouldn't you be worrying about the damage to the tower? Master Nellop has tasked Alenya with repairing the tower. Nothing. Why aren't you doing this in the lab, where it would be safer for all of us? All right, is this? Yeah, this is the one. All right, let's get in here. Float up. Okay. I'll bite. Well, that's a very cool way to enter. Yo, Nelos. We meet again. You again? Didn't I see you in Ravenrock? You certainly did. You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? Is this somehow connected to your search for Miran? Yeah... I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. Ogma Infinium. Have you? The actual Ogma Infinium, that's it. I've searched for it myself for many years, without success. Well then, you should know better than anyone that Hermaeus Mora is not to be trifled with. But he is subtler than most of the other Daedric princes, as you would expect of the Prince of Knowledge and Fate. You seem to have escaped the fate of many who find themselves ensnared forever by the law of his secrets. Or perhaps not. Well, I've got a black book. Need to find more. Found one? Yes. And you read it too, didn't you? Of course. Don't try to deny it. You've got the look. I can see it now. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful. Usually turns out to be the most useful in my experience. Yeah, and books are meant for reading. I need to know what Mirak knows, because we gotta stop the SOB. Now that is a dangerous path indeed. Hermaeus Mora gives nothing away for free. You may end up like Mirak, of course. Two power mad dragonborn. It could be very interesting. All right. Do you know where? Oh, yes. They're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. You have one, huh? Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstein. But my book isn't what you're looking for, I'm quite sure. It is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. Well... Let's go. Yes, I do. I haven't been able to get it, though. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets the Dwemer left behind. The Dwemer? Oh, good. What do they got to do with it? Forbidden knowledge was somewhat of a specialty of the dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone, do you? It seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case, which I wasn't able to open. But perhaps the two of us, together, will be able to get at the book. To Nachardak, then. Follow me. And who didn't see that coming? <laughs> okay, let's make sure the right thing is turned on. Yeah, and we'll turn that off for right now. Okay, float down.
I gotta say, that's a nice way to get in and out. Especially if you have a setup that turns the float up off when uh, undesirables come around. Okay. So. Two fingers pronated. What's pronated? Oh, rotated. That might work. Well, unless this trip turns out to be eventful, I will catch up with you at Nichardak. These towers have outlasted their creators by millennia. The book is housed inside that dome. I right. need to unlock the door for us. Let's get on with it. Well, quit talking and start moving. I'm waiting for you. Alright, the chart act discovered was just... Okay, let's just go daggers. Oh, for crying out loud. Keep hitting the wrong crap. Alright, where's the rest of these yim yams? Uh, gold and crap. Leg of goat roast. <laughs> All right. Any more? An Ash Guardian. Cool. All right. I assume... All right, wait a minute. Where do I need to get to? Quite a bit further in. Okay. Well, I'll take your gold at least. So we head around here. And apparently that's not going to get me to the dome. But over here... You don't even know what you're fighting. Take the soul gems. Alright. That was just Ballista. Apparently around the back. Over here. Now ain't this a surprise? <laughs> the surprise is to you and how fast I can relieve you of your petty mortal existence. Uh, I'm not even going to mess with the stuff. Not now. If it's still there when I come out, fine. All right. The Dwemer of Nachardak appear to have been fond of these control pedestals. Luckily, I found a cube to operate it inside on my last visit. I sealed the door when I left to keep out ignorant meddlers. Let me unlock it. The book is just in sight. All right, let's get in there. Oh, well, that's sealed up all right. So tantalizingly close. But trust me, no magic will open that. I'd have had the book already if it could. No, we'll have to do this the hard way. 
If we can restore the steam supply to this room, I'm certain I can open it. As you'll see, that's easier said than done. Of course. This way. Follow me. Waiting. If I'm going to follow you, you have to go first. Uh-huh. Maybe these aren't elevators. They're just teleporter pads. The last time I was here, I only explored a small part of the ruins. I was here alone then, and I find an assistant is absolutely essential for this kind of dirty, dangerous work. Oh, of course. You need somebody to do the dirty and the dangerous part. <laughs> in Chardak, the city of a hundred towers. In its day, it was the largest of the great Dwemer archives, and perhaps the most advanced. In the old stories, when the Norns came to conquer it, it said the Dwemer submerged the entire city beneath the sea until the invaders gave up. I have my doubts, but the city was a marvel of Dwemer engineering, now reduced to this. As you can see, most of the lower levels of the city are flooded, but it isn't hopeless. The old Dwemer pumps still seem to work. Watch. Uh-huh. But the pumps only operate when a cube is in the pedestal. And unfortunately, I only have one cube. These four boilers provide steam to the room upstairs. They're shot down, but they still respond to the control cubes. So, if we can find four more cubes, we can turn these boilers back on and restore steam power to the room upstairs. Then I should be able to open the book's protective case. All right. Bring that cube. We'll need it. All right. Where to next? Yes. Here we are. This device shows the location of four more cubes in this section of the city. It looks like most of the cubes were moved to the lower levels, perhaps to try to control the flooding before the city was abandoned. Okay. Interesting. That would suggest that the city must have originally sunk during the first cataclysm of Red Mountain. Or that the Dwemer's servitors continued to try to preserve the city after their creator's disappearance. Either way. All right. Three. Pausing just a moment. Uh, I need to take a quick break and check on my time. All right, as I suspected, the time is getting kind of ripe there, up and around a half an hour. So I'm going to call it here and uh, switch a few things around and get ready and pick up from here and recording the next episode right away. And so thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.